I'm Justin Pritchard. This is the 668 horsepower Cadillac CT5V Blackwing, and there's only one way to start this video. And that's under the hood where you'll find this 6.2 liter V8. It's a motorsports unit running rotocast aluminum cylinder heads that are stronger and better able to stand up to the heat. Up top, the Eaton Blower is a new 1.7 liter high output compact four lobe monster. It's designed to hit hard earlier in the rev range for seamless and instant response. This throttle is sharp. That's all hand assembled at the GM Performance Center in Wixom, Michigan and signed by its maker, in this case, Crystal Strickland. That's the sound of 668 horsepower and 659 pounds of torque routed through a Tremec TR6060 six-speed manual gearbox. It uses a Cadillac-specific gear cut to keep the noise down and a beefy, buttery throw that's short enough to handle with a fingertip, but long enough to get the biceps engaged in a satisfying way when you just feel like ripping some gears. The twin-disc clutch is heavy set but creamy with an initial tension up top that slowly gives way to an arc-shaped hinge that's easy to work smoothly. Electronic enhancements to the gearbox include no lift shift, so there's no need to release the throttle pedal during wide open upshifts. And there's auto rev matching, though I never turned it on. With just a little work to get in sync with the heavy, creamy, and solid action of this clutch and shifter system, and a little more work on your right foot throttle blips, you'll be working the exhaust sounds like a rev matching pro in no time. Forget blips, the thundering downshift barks generate bigger grins when you nail them on your own, and if you need a little practice, well, that's a good time too. Miss Strickland, I'm a big fan of your work. The exhaust sounds especially fantastic, echoing off of great big slabs of the Canadian Shield, wouldn't you agree? So this transmission might need a touch of muscle at times, but it's an absolute joy to use. Around town, there's pulling power galore just about everywhere off of idle. Take off in second if you like, and you're up to sixth by 70 kph. That supercharger is active, very low in the rev range, and there's always a pile of torque to spare. When cruising in sixth at highway speeds, downshifting to climb a hill or pass is always optional. Though the 66-liter fuel tank and 11.4-liter per 100-kilometer highway fuel consumption turns in a cruising range of about 500 kilometers, and that's if you're staying out of the throttle, good luck. After all, if you want to play, you've got to pay, and you can bet the fuel injectors Crystal Strickland put inside of this engine flow like Niagara Falls as Redline approaches and that supercharger gets screaming. Pity you can't hear it from on board, but trust me, from outside, everyone else does. Welcome to your new luxurious rocket-propelled toy box. Slip into the racy carbon buckets and behind a racy wheel with additional control sprouties. One dial here to manage your traction settings and the red V button on the left, which cranks all performance calibrations to maximum in a millisecond. It's a sleek and glossy cabin with great screens and details galore. Don't miss the patterned leather and accent stitching on the optional buckets or the customer-specific build number plaque on the wheel. I find the atmosphere sets the tone nicely for this car. It's an authentically high-end setup for comfort, but you know you're in a very serious place. Elsewhere, drivers get a considerable tech toolkit. Down beneath its Magnetic Ride 4.0, the very latest version of the world's fastest reacting suspension system, says Cadillac. And from behind the wheel, potholes, bumps, and manhole covers that cause dramatic reactions from other high-performing rocket saloons barely register, though the Blackwing feels full-on track beast when you engage its sportier settings. Still, new accelerometers and inertial measurement modules transmit and process data four times faster than earlier units, and the new system even considers the temperature of the dampers when doing its math, meaning more consistent performance. Elsewhere, improved magnetic flux and transient body control allow the vehicle to transition more smoothly and respond more accurately. Result, consistently and surprisingly good ride quality given the performance capabilities, an intelligent suspension system that can turn most bumps into just about nothing at all, and a buttery solid glide down the highways and secondary roads of northern Ontario where I noted a smoother and more forgiving ride than the BMW M5 CS. This Blackwing could very well be the best ride and handling balance of any sports sedan ever.
Beneath these supercomputer shocks are a set of bronze-colored 19s wrapped in Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires with a 305 in the back and 275s up front. Behind the wheels, you'll find the largest brakes ever fitted to a Cadillac, with front rotors measuring in at a whopping 15.6 inches, backed by 14.7-inch rotors in the rear. Staggered six-piston Brembos do the clamping. Hard stops will nearly see you go through your seatbelt, and while very dependable and powerful, I'd still say it's BMW with the more precise and confidence-inspiring at-the-limit pedal feel in this game. Between the rear wheels, it's an electronic limited-slip differential which builds clamping force in response to throttle input. You can monitor that lockup force via an on-screen gauge, where you'll notice the throttle signal not only gets the engine spinning faster, but also gets that rear axle locking up harder. The result is a preemptive strike against a loss of traction at full throttle, and while you can vaporize the tires if you like, what's even more impressive is how this trick differential and traction management system enable consistent straight-as-an-arrow acceleration, with no drama from a slippery rear end unless you go looking for it. Even abrupt throttle inputs are met with consistent reliable bite during hard acceleration. To put that another way, she hooks up real nice. This is confidence-inspiring provided you're on pavement that's relatively clean and dry. Just be careful, the sound effects, the surging gush of power and traction, and the euphoria of controlling all of that horrifying music with a manual gearbox make it very easy to get carried away. So without plenty of caution, the Blackwing will see you into demerit point territory in very short order. It's 0 to 100 kph in about 3.6 seconds, while the performance traction management system works that E-differential to keep the Michelins from going up in smoke. I think the magic to this machine boils down to two key elements of how it drives. First, as a proper sports sedan should, this one's both a thrilling drive and an easy-going drive. It's comfortable enough to cruise for hours, but stiff enough to corner a racetrack while inspiring confidence because there's never much of a sensation of the car battling its weight. This is as comfortable a track car as I've ever driven. And second, it's the way the controls culminate at your fingers and toes to deliver the sort of confidence-building smoothness and consistency that forms a solid driver-to-car connection. The steering is heavy and sharp, though not quite as quick as I was expecting. Instead of a go-kart steering feel, the key element that stands out to me is the smoothness of the system, and how the ratio and assist levels feel nicely set against the machine's weight and suspension setup. Everything plays really nicely with everything else, and it's never difficult to send signals to the front tires quickly and smoothly. From that basis, add in the smooth, dense, and precise feel built into the clutch and shifter, and the consistently straight and drama-free full-throttle acceleration enabled by the onboard tech, and you've got an engaging and reliable dance partner which, thanks to Miss Strickland, has quite the set of lungs. Seriously, this thing is silly loud. With the flaps open, I have no idea how it's street legal. I've never sworn while laughing so many times on a test drive in my life. Mostly, I figure that's due to the way the sound and the sensation of disc-slipping torque ignites something in the most juvenile part of the car enthusiast's brain, in this case with 668 horsepower and, more importantly, three pedals. show you my Dodge Viper for a moment. This is my second one of these, and it's a car that I love very much, even though it's sometimes a huge pain in the ass. I have a deeply rooted sentimental attachment to this machine, others might call it a Viper problem, which means I can't quite bring myself to sell it, I don't think, but if I did, well, I'm pretty sure I'd be ringing up Crystal Strickland to build me another one of those sweet, sweet 6.2s. Cadillac CT5 V Blackwing pricing from about 98,000 Canadian, and I'd happily pay that all day long if I ever jumped ship. Well, that was an awful lot of fun, wasn't it? My name's Justin Pritchard. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button down below so you never miss a new upload. And until next time, take care and drive safe.